welcome onto the stage uh, Cristiano Mon and uh, Marti Renducita. Good afternoon, everybody. So I have the challenge of having to do this after lunch. So it's uh, not the best slot, but I'll try to do my best. Uh, so good afternoon, it's a, a pleasure to be here. Uh, as Enrico said, my name is Cristiano Amon. I'm, uh, together with Murti, responsible for Qualcomm mobile computing semiconductor business. Uh, it's my first time in Berlin, so I'm very excited. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more days, but uh, I'm looking forward to come back uh, next. And I appreciate all of you coming uh, to this event with Qualcomm. So one of the things I'm gonna to talk today is uh, uh, a little bit of what we're doing in the semiconductor business, uh, actually to realize the vision presented by our president, Steve Molenkov, uh, looking at the mobile platform and uh, how is that influencing the multitude of devices and how we are uh, developing products, uh, you know, hopefully to be successful and be the silicon of choice in uh, those devices. So we'll start with that, talking about uh, some of the things we see in the mobile phone today. Uh, you know, I think uh, most people that remember Qualcomm in the very beginning, we started as a, a modem company developing, you know, digital uh, communications technology. And one of the things over all of those years looking at the cell phone, um, and the attributes of a, of a cell phone, as the cell phone went from a basic uh, voice communication device to today's smartphones has not changed. Uh, you know, people want to be connected all the time, want to be rich, uh, want to be, uh, you know, efficient in uh, in power. The battery has to last all day, and uh, it has to have the scale. And the scale is actually very important. One of the things uh, uh, that uh, people don't realize: there are more cell phones uh, today than toothbrushes. Uh, they're actually there. People don't have a toothbrush, but they have a cell phone, and it's actually a very large uh, scale device. And, and the technologies that uh, we had to invest to enable those things in today's device is actually influencing other devices to be uh, connected and have some of the behavior of the cell phone. So uh, we're really entering the era of uh, what we call the smart connected devices. And uh, the technology from the cell phone is actually starting to influence uh, you know, devices uh, on the connectivity side, uh, into new connected opportunities, what we call the Internet of Everything, uh, the machine-to-machine -machine segment, uh, the, uh, the uh, connectivity and the ability uh, to control and communicate uh, devices that are part of our daily lives, as well as influencing the architecture of other consumer electronics. And actually, that's the more interesting part, I think. Cell phones are changing the way computers are today, going into the, uh, the post-PC era with uh, the, the tablets uh, and the connected tablets and the, the, and, the, and the tablets that can last you know, your entire day um, uh, for both entertainment and, uh, and uh, uh, creation. And as well as going to the TVs, the TVs are becoming smart. And, and by being a company that had invested into the technology that make a smartphone viable today, we think we're very well positioned uh, into uh, succeeding in providing the technology for those other devices. And that's what my colleague Murthy will be talking about today, uh, into the details of those technologies that we're investing. So, uh, one thing uh, that we had adopted as a strategy and how to develop uh, semiconductor products that has the ability to enable that vision in all the devices, we had picked what we call a four-step approach. So the first one is we have to have technology superiority and actually we have to have the ability to own the technology of every single element uh, that drive uh, 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 that, that platform. So as a company, and, you know, we have been uh, today, the largest uh, you know, wireless semiconductor company, we actually have, we ship more wireless uh, uh, modems than any other company, but also not well known to the public. We're the, we're the largest DSP company, we ship more digital signal processor, we're the largest GPU company, we ship more uh, graphical processors units, where we actually one of the largest uh, uh, you know, producers of CPU, because we, same thing with GPS, and because we have developed all of those technologies that are required into uh, 
to the, today's uh, smartphones and, and tablets. Uh, and we have the ability to optimize that for those attributes of mobile that never change. You know, the battery has to last there all day, needs to be connected, and it'll be always connected. Uh, the second thing that we do is uh, we, we, we bet on silicon integration. I think in the history of semiconductor, every company that bet against integration has not been uh, very successful. And I think we believe that uh, by integrating all technologies into a single piece of silicon and have a system approach, it's uh, actually the, the uh, winning solution for today's devices. And I think, you know, we're, like, we're very uh, uh, happy with the presentation made by, you know, our colleagues from uh, Nokia. We're actually very proud to be able to provide a, a semiconductor for Nokia. The ability to enable all of the functionality that you wanted to see in today's smartphones with a single chip is actually uh, uh, the strategy we employ. And, and then the ability to have a roadmap that we can serve uh, multiple tiers of devices, ranging from affordability uh, and the transition of the uh, 2G uh, smartphone into a 3G smartphone, all the way to a connected uh, computing device. Uh, modem has been the core of what we do. And uh, one of the things that uh, we continue to invest is in the modem technology leadership. We started as a modem company with CDMA and you know, double CDMA. Uh, we're today uh, the leading company in LTE. And our goal is to be able to, con to in continue to invest in modem capabilities to enable all of those devices to be connected. The experience of a device which is connected 100% of the time and does not require the user to have an understanding when he's connected, when he's not connected. Uh, it's what differentiates uh, Qualcomm modem technology. And, and the other important thing is uh, this, we're, we're transitioning to the era of, uh, of the, what we call the post uh, hard drive. I think all of the applications in your content not only resides in your device, but resides in the cloud. And the ability to be connected with the cloud constantly uh, regardless if you're on a, a local area network, on a white area network, is what's going to differentiate uh, the future, uh, today's and future experience of the devices. So that's clearly an area that we invest and will continue to invest. We also look to provide multiple platforms. We have been you know, providing uh, devices across uh, six uh, different uh, operational systems. And we'll continue uh, to do that as much as necessary to provide a very rich and competitive uh, marketplace uh, for consumers and for partners. And one of the things uh, I think we, uh, it was discussed uh, in today's presentation about, uh, you know, the evolution of computing uh, WinRT uh, combined with Windows Phone. I think it's, uh, it's a true representation of uh, this new uh, era of devices when what you do in your phone is actually going to be what you do in uh, your computer as well. Um, Another approach, when we talk about the system approach, is uh, to recognize that it's not only about semiconductor, but exactly developing a complete solution uh, that allows all of our partners, not only the uh, device OEM, but also the high-level OS uh, companies and the application developers to have access to a complete ecosystem. So our approach is, uh, besides you know, just uh, providing an integrated uh, silicon with all the functionalities we also uh, provide you know, a number of platforms. So we provide a reference design, developer tools, and, and ability to support customers with a variety of devices. So uh, when, when we provide chipsets, we recognize that uh, there's a need for applications to be developed develop in parallel to the chipset, for devices, phones or tablets to be developed in parallel to chipsets. And uh, we provide a complete suite of tools ranging from you know, development boards to a complete uh, uh, device uh, you know, reference project uh, for, for both tablets as well as uh, uh, phones. And we also have you know, uh, a number of uh, online tools to promote uh, that development. And uh, we also, uh, with the ability to provide reference designs and the class or the category of entry level affordable devices, what we call the 2G to 3G migration, we also provide a reference design for, uh, for that uh, affordability. The devices that are replacing uh, today's uh, feature phones with entry-level smartphones. And with that, we're able to provide over uh, you know, 50, 50 models 
over 100 designs from 40 OEMs using our tools and uh, reference designs. So I think that's just to give an idea of the whole you know, ecosystem around the chipsets. And uh, on the roadmap, we have been uh, trying to provide a, a solution for every price point, ranging you know, from, as I mentioned, the entry level uh, you know, uh, smartphone, which is now in the sub $100 category, uh, to multiple uh, you know, devices, uh, all the way to the high end, to the computing, and then uh, with the MPQ, the, the smart television. And I think the, the TV is also becoming uh, the evolution of what used to be the family desktop. You know, a connected TV in the room, in the home, whether it's a TV or, or a DMA box, uh, it, it's actually going to have the same experience that you have on a, on a tablet and your phone, and it's gonna be a, another panel that you can uh, exchange uh, content for your personal device. And, and therefore, we're, we're looking into that's uh, the evolution of the industry, and that's where we're investing uh, in semiconductor. And all of this is uh, aligned with our view that uh, you know our products are enabling uh, you know all of our customers and uh, users to connect more, to reach more, and to create more in the uh, biggest uh, platform, which is the mobile platform, is the biggest platform of mankind. With that, I'd like to invite uh, stage my fellow uh, co-president for QMC, 